Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another unboxing and today we've got ourselves the Target exclusive WWE Mattel Legend Series Macho Man Randy Savage or as I like to call him the cream of the crop Randy Savage because it is absolutely awesome holding the creamer. I am so freaking pumped to open this damn figure. Um, in fact, I've managed to find it and thanks in part to my wonderful, wonderful wife, she found the Chase version. So we'll actually do a comparison of the two real quick. I'm only going to be opening the standard one, the Chase one I'm going to keep sealed. Uh, but we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison just so you can kind of see the differences in them. And then we'll get to cracking it open. So, <clears throat> excuse me. First off, so we're going to start at the obvious. Uh, one has pink tights with white wrist tape. The other one has yellow tights with yellow wrist tape. Also, uh, the one with the pink tights has kind of the pink and purple, like, Macho Man headband that's very synonymous with the picture here. Actually, I had the same headband. Um, I could not help but get one. Uh, and then this one has kind of the weird tie-dyed headband and also has the yellow wristband, but it also has one white and pink wristband. Uh, so that's really cool. The only thing I, I wish they would have changed is that, as you can see in kind of the artwork, He's kind of got the Macho Man wristbands right there. I wish they would have done that instead of the white ones. However, I will not complain because this figure is absolutely incredible. I love it's got the shirt with it. Hands down my favorite wrestling shirt, probably of all time outside of just your normal Bullet Club uh, t-shirt or NWO shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, just an iconic shirt. Incredible. Uh, but yeah, but those are the differences between the Chase is essentially... The color of the tights, the wristbands, the headband, and also, if you notice, the hands on this one does not have the wrist tape or the finger tape, uh, and neither do the bonus hands with it, unlike this version that does. So, uh, really cool. Lots of substantial differences between the chase and the standard aesthetically, so it's really cool to know that there was at least a little more detail put into what the differences was, rather than, oh, this one's got pink tights, this one has yellow tights, end of story. So... Very, very cool to have both of those. So we'll go ahead and set the chase one off to the side. Let's go ahead and get to cracking this bad boy open. Uh, there's a little shot of Macho Man there on the side. And on the back, you've got the other figures in the set, which is the Big John Stud, uh, the Wolfpack Scott Hall, and the Bam Bam Bigelow. I really wish the Scott Hall had the white and black NWO shirt rather than the red and black NWO shirt. And that's kind of why I've been hesitant to pick it up. Uh, however, May Cave eventually actually be more inclined to get the Bam Bam because I think it's really cool. And it does have that sweet ass ECW title with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go ahead and rip Macho Man out here. And this one, it does, um, it, as far as like the actual figure itself with the tights, looks very similar to the Macho Man that came with the little ring cart, the WrestleMania one. Except that one is a basic, while this one's an elite. And of course, you know, a few little minor differences in the actual sculpt. But, uh, in general though, this one's a much better figure than the one with the cart. Like I said, being, a, being an elite, having the headband and everything else. Let's get that out. Get the shirt ski out of the package. Get some hand removal here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The allergies in Oklahoma are absolutely unreal. Not to mention, I just did a uh, pack opening for some Dragon Ball cards a few minutes ago and uh, had a extremely incredible uh, moment while doing that. So go back and check out that video um, and you can kind of see what happens with that uh, because, boy, I kind of lost it. And, uh, yeah, I uh, kind of got myself all choked up and everything else is really cool. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and look at him straight out of the package as he is. Hand, a little creamer in it, which I absolutely love. And it's such a cool little thing, man. You wouldn't think that something like that would make a figure any better, but it really does. Like, it's such an iconic thing. I really do need to get a mean jean now. I can just set them up with them, and um, it'll be perfect. The headband comes off. I'm going to get a close-up on that headband real quick. Very cool. Like, you can actually read the words on it, which is nice. It's not just, like... Purple splashes. I mean, right there, it seems to get a little clustered up, but that's, you know, that happens. Uh, glasses, pretty much standard Macho Man glasses, um, but they do at least fit the head nicely as far as like sliding under the hair. 
I can actually like do it right instead of being completely uncoordinated. And of course, uh, I think the rest of the colors are pretty well on point. Like I said, it looks a lot like the one that came with the ring cart, but of course, um, just it's an elite instead of a basic. So you have a little more posability options. Uh, Macho Man on the back of the tights. All the paint on this thing seems very, very clean. I don't really see any smudges, nicks, you know, bleed overs. And that's something else I kind of noticed with the um, WrestleMania Macho that came with the ring cart is that on like the boots and the back of the knee pads, because uh, yellow is kind of a hard color to lay down on plastic sometimes, I would see kind of color bleed through and the yellow wasn't quite as um, solid. Uh, but it seems very, very solid on this one, so I definitely won't complain. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this shirt on him real quick. I'm really excited to get this shirt on. So I bet he's going to look absolutely incredible with it. So there we go. I do like the shirts going on the front rather than, you know, having to fasten through the front. Because um, it does make it to where, you know, if there's any decals or anything on the front of the shirt designs, it doesn't, you know, get busted up by that Velcro strap. So that's really cool. I do enjoy that. So good job there, Mattel, for that one. Also, I will say I am so happy to have found... Uh, found this figure because um, as I've kind of discussed in previous videos uh, and even through the podcast that uh, Macho Man figures just uh, for some reason they're just not something that uh, stay on shelves very long at all so usually when they come out I think the Mattel Wrestlemania one with, with the cart was about the exception to the rule and even that one I feel like uh, if you missed out on that one in about a year or two you're probably going to regret it because I think that one's actually going to skyrocketing in value um that people just kind of slept on it. And they thought, oh, I don't want a basic because I can just get this elite one. Well, yeah, you say that, but then you're gonna be crying because you don't have the stupid WrestleMania card. So, uh, wow, it looks great. <clears throat> I love the fraying. The cuts on the shirt look really good. Very well done on that. I love the little pinky gesture on the hand. So that cream of the crop promo is so fun. And just the fact that this thing's got it with it, it's just really badass. Let's go ahead and check out the posability on the legs real quick. Knee joints, pretty well. I mean, they're loose enough that they move and you don't have to worry about feeling like they're gonna snap off. Uh, there goes his bandana. The ankles, uh, real tight. Yeah, I'm not gonna push that. Ow, that's kind of a letdown. Uh, they do not, yeah, I'm, like, I'm pushing on it guys. It is not budging. All right, so I'm um, not going to break that. No, thank you. I like this figure too much. Uh, arms. Posability in the arms feels solid. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can take off one of these hands real quick. And let's go ahead and put on the finger hand because why not? Let's go ahead. And... Well, I think I... Um... Yep, I, I totally put a left hand on. I put a right hand on the left hand, so uh, go me for that one. I thought it was a finger hand, but it's not. It's actually just kind of like a, kind of like a, a pinky hand. So yeah. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, hand pops off real nice. No issues there. And actually, the bandana stays on pretty well. Obviously, if you turn it upside down, uh, well, hell, even then, not too bad. So it does hold pretty well. Uh, the figure. Let's see how it stands. There we go. Very nice. So yeah, man. So yeah, that's the that's the figure in all its glory. Like I said, the seam on it's very clean. Paint looks great. And yeah, dude, this is a badass figure. I give this one a nine out of ten. Uh, only reason why it's not a ten is because those ankles. That kind of bums me out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, really, really great figure. If you can find this one, if you're a Macho Man fan, highly recommend it. The shirt press, uh, the printing on the shirt is very clean. Shirt was very easy to get on. And it is, I think this is incredibly iconic. So, yeah, he's even got the pointer finger and everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with this figure. If you pass up on it, you're definitely going to regret it. So, I'll go ahead and cut it at that. So, guys, this is going to do it for this video. Thank you for checking it out. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram at Collecting Raj. And then don't forget to check out my new podcast, the Collecting Raj Podcast. You can find it on Spotify, Google Podcasts, or just about wherever you can find uh, your podcast that it's a general discussion podcast about all things collecting movie pop culture uh, things of that nature and then also uh, when it comes to these videos hit that like button uh, by all means 
That helps me know that you guys are enjoying this stuff, and that helps me kind of direct the way uh, the content is made and what kind of content I put out there. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this. Yeah, wow, take a shot. <laughs> that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Thank you, as always. And you guys have yourselves, ooh, yeah, macho, yeah.